Hello YouTubers. Let me show you my uh, new toy. This is a 40 watt Sinrad industrial CO2 laser. We are really cleaning out the old junk at work. And uh, we had a laser marking system that was in use at work years and years and years ago. And uh, it got put on the shelf. The, um, the system it was built into didn't work anymore. Um, we had this laser and we had a spare laser. And uh, we're cleaning out the stuff and I managed to inherit them. And uh, the first laser didn't work, but this one does, as you can see. Um, it does a number on wood, and it's not even focused. So, I'm driving this laser. Um, it, it, I had to look up how to drive this thing, because I wasn't sure. And Sinrad says um, it's, it's a pulse width modulated system. You send it a... Uh, um, uh, TTL logic level square wave and uh, the uh, duty cycle of the square wave determines the output power uh, from zero up to 95 percent they don't recommend running it at more than 95 percent so um, I was going to whip up a quick pulse width modulation system just to test the thing out but then I said well you know what I've got this ancient HP signal generator over here and if I set it up right I can get a pulse train out of it that's pretty close to like 90 90 percent duty cycle at uh, 5 kilohertz roughly there which is what uh, Sinrad says it should be so I said well let me just try this thing see if I can get it to laze and uh, like I said the first one didn't work but this one does and it works pretty darn well so I turn this on. There we go. And boy, that's bright too. I should probably be wearing goggles. Um, the CO2 laser beam itself is invisible, but uh, um, the, the spot it makes on the wood is just incredibly bright. And I don't know if you could hear it, uh, the squealing of the 5 kilohertz uh, signal going into it, but uh, it's quite loud. I don't know if that comes through on the, the camera here. But um, as I said, it's not focused. You can see the width of the beam there. Um, I would probably need a, uh, a focusing lens to focus the beam down to something that would cut steel or give a good clean cut in thin wood or plastics or whatever. Because right now it's it's pretty wide beam. It looks like it's probably at least 3-4 millimeters wide. 3 millimeters anyway. So... Still, you know, close to 40 watts in 3 millimeters, that's, that's a lot of energy in a small place. So, it, uh, it really, really lights up the wood, let me tell you. And if I let the beam um, fall back on the blackened area, the carbonized area, it just glows bright, eye-hurtingly bright, enough to produce after images. So... So this is great. So I've got myself a 40-watt industrial laser. I don't really have a use for it right now, but uh, I am working on a, a CNC uh, machine, and I could build a laser cutter with it. Just uh, mount the laser on there in place of the, uh, of the router on the Z-axis, and I could use it for cutting. I would definitely need to get a focusing lens for it so that um, I could uh, concentrate the power a little more and uh, use it for cutting, oh, like I said, steel or, or thin wood or plastic or something. Right now it's just too unfocused. But uh, this is great. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably actually going to go ahead, now that I know that this tube works, is I'm going to go ahead and build a, uh, a PWM um, driver for it, something that will be programmable with an output from a computer where I can um, program the pulse width uh, from 0 to 99% or 95% um, so I can dial the output of the laser basically 
so that'll be that'll be another project. I'll take a video of that down the road once I get it up and running. But right now my little uh, my little test system here is working pretty good, just for driving the driving the tube. So I'm happy about that. So one more one more parting shot. Come on, there it goes. Sometimes it takes a second or two to come on. Oh, that's bright. I better stop before I set off the smoke detectors. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to uh, interesting projects with my 40-watt uh, CO2 laser. See you later. Bye.